Okay, I'm going to go over how to do this waterfall material. Um, we're going to do a real basic version though, so that you don't you don't get bogged down with all the weird little fun things I did, like Fresnel changing the sides. So we're going to start from scratch. So this is the existing one. We're not going to get there. That's too complicated, and I'll show you why. That's all the nodes for that one. It's got a lot of jazz, okay? Uh, we're not going to do that because that's just going to take forever. And really, it's just a lot of silly stuff there. So we're going to start with a new material. And uh, the vertex colors are already set on this. I'm going to show you what the vertex colors are. That's pretty relevant. So you see, here's the mesh. And you can click vertex colors, and bam, there's your vertex colors. You could do it a different way if you want, but basically it just gives you a little bit of variety so you can do certain things. Like I want everything in red, and I want that to have no opacity. I want that to completely fade out. And as it gets inward, we change to some other colors. I want it to change from a river to a transition shape and then uh, into a more jagged shape as it falls down. So that's why I've got a lot of different colors there. Alright, on to the material. The material we're going to start with is going to be completely empty. So what I'm going to do is we're going to we need vertex colors. So uh, let's see here. Does V do that? No, V does not do that. Vertex color. All right. Now, just just to be simple, we're just going to start with not even any textures. Okay, so we're going to go with we're just going to make a couple different colors you can use here, um, like this one. You know, red. Make this one blue. You said blue. There we go. And we'll make this one some kind of greenish. I'm not trying to make anything pretty here. I'm trying to make a point. Alright, that's amazing. I, I can't believe I did that. That's green, red, and blue, sorta. Alright, so what do I do to make it so that we get uh, different colors going to different parts of the mesh? Well, we use a LERP. You can hold down the, the L key, L, and then click. That's a good hotkey. Hold L key and click, and you got yourself a LERP. Now, what this does is real simple. It makes it so that if whatever you have here between 0 and 1 and your alpha changes whether it's A or B. By default, it's set to 0 0.5, which means we're getting half of one, half of the other. So what we can do here is we can go green into A, red into B. And we can say, depending on the vertex color, it's going to be one of these two things. Put that into your base color. Hit save. Doesn't really show much in the preview here. Or this is actually going to make sense. Let's shut this down. All right. And now look what we have here. We have vertex colors are now driving a little bit of the color. And we can do this again. We could say blurp again. Now I could say let's this can get very complicated. So the way that you do this is gonna be up to a little bit of experimentation, but the logic is not something I'm that great at. I just tend to trial and error. So let's just say the the blue uh, vertex color is going to decide if we're going to get the end results of these two things. And we'll click save. Right now we're only using two vertex colors. So that's pretty simple. You got four at your disposal here. Four different things that can drive how your stuff looks. 
so things can get a lot more complicated which is great oh look at that now we got uh, blue in this area red in this area and green in that area that's not really all that unexpected let's do it again let's throw in another lerp here and now we got uh, let's do red this is something I did on the other one so we'll do red in here and I'm gonna hit one hold one and then click and that creates a single what is it scalar value I don't know what you call that I'll put that in a B and I'm gonna leave it at zero it's a value of zero and I'm gonna put uh, uh, you know this is this is the opacity so it doesn't really I'm just gonna do another one let's do this do this one to, to one and I'm gonna throw this onto the opacity. Oh wait, I can't. I gotta change this to something that can be translucent. That's pretty important for waterfalls. All right, that probably did something. Let's see what it did. Okay, as you can see, it didn't do anything. So. Let's click on that again. Let's see what's going on here. Red. You're just not updating on me. Mm. Well, when in doubt, make sure things are doing what you want with less variables so we're just going to save zero directly into that figure this out real quick rather than re-editing the video because I'm lazy alright so zero equals zero opacity so certain amount of red Let's try. Let's try that. Let's see what happens when we do this. I always forget which one does what. A, B, plus, minus, alpha, all that. Okay. So you know what, I think things actually might have been working. I've I've just inverted it, and so here's what we've got. We've got the red is now making it so that there is alpha everywhere that I don't want it. Fantastic. So maybe things were actually working great. But it's good to test your work and find out if things are working right or not. Things were working. They just weren't really all that obvious. Let's try that again. Okay, we're going to save that. So zero definitely goes to B. Well, what do you know? It was just unreal. It was just being a, a not very nice program earlier, wasn't it? Because I had this set up exactly like that. You saw it. I saw it. We all saw that. And here it is doing what you want it to do. Now, as for all the rest of this junk, those are panners. And you can get really complicated with panner, panners. You can make all kinds of textures. And you're going to need to get the right texture you want. But whatever textures you want to use, they could be a lot prettier and not as ugly as mine. Um, you could have things be reflective or not reflective. That's up to you. But that's going to be on you. And I'd really... I'd rather you figure that out for yourself because I'm not going to give you my textures um, because YouTube is not really the greatest place to do that sort of thing. and It's more of a marketplace thing anyway. Alright, so that's that's good enough. I think you got it. 